Have you ever locked off a cyber truck before? <laughs> this is gonna be so sick. Yo, what's up everybody? Hey, the shape of the Tesla Cybertruck led us to start thinking, like, what else can we do th with this thing, you know? Tase's video of him fake using the, the Apple Vision Pro thing is kind of went wild. This is a really fun truck. So we actually got Christian, a professional BMX biker, to come, and we're gonna go see if we can do some fun tricks and stunts and whatever using using this thing as a ramp, I guess. <laughs> like, we're gonna see what we can do. You think that, like, taste how crazy can we get here? We'll see what he can do. I don't know. Seems like, like a talented guy. Yeah, I mean, he seems way to, like, look at his Instagram page. Boom, link to that thing, because it's freaking bad, A. Eh? And now we're, we're here in Draper, Utah, and he's got a couple of bikes on the back of his car right in front of us. We're gonna go see if we can have some fun here. Okay, this is like day number three for me, driving the Tesla Cybertruck around. Y'all, if you're paying attention, y'all know how ugly I think this thing is. Um, I don't think it's a good looking truck. I think it looks like a spaceship, but honestly, it's pretty solid to drive around. If you can get over the weird range thing where like I have to go down to the supercharger station and sit in my car for 40 minutes and charge it up to 80%, that part kind of drives me nuts, but it actually is a really good driving vehicle. Like I, I like driving it around, it's really fun and the kids love it and I've been accosted by teenagers all over the place, which actually isn't that fun, but kind of funny at the same time. Put your tires against the curb and let's see how close it gets to the edge. Okay. Cause maybe we don't even have to pull up onto the curb. That's oh, that, right that's probably fine, dude. Okay. That's close enough that I bet we're good. Nice, oh, let's go. do it. Let's go. Does this windshield wiper fold up so I'm not running over yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Are, are we sure this is gonna go. hold the weight of a bike? Not, yeah, we're here we're to not, find that out, dude. Here to find yeah. it out, all right, all right. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Like, that's like the one concern I kind of have, I'm like, I mean, luckily, like this potentially, I will impact this first with the tires and then roll up over it. You know what I like, mean? Do you want to? I don't know how to like probe that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Let's move over maybe three feet, okay. and then put your front tires like kind of in the middle of the curb. I would say. Got it. Doesn't this thing look like a literally like a ramp, dude? Like, oh, it's built. For I it. mean, it's like a wedge. It's like a wedge it shape. Is. I mean, look. So, so look. He's gonna get a little bit of running start. He's got a little bit of like a kicker ramp. So he's gonna get up on the tonneau cover, right? He's gonna ride up and over the top. I don't know if he's gonna have enough speed to clear that. Uh, but then, but then obviously he's got the downhill landing to you know because that's what you need when you're jumping off a cyber truck. So. Um, do you think there's been a BMXer that's jumped off a Cybertruck in this world yet? I think there's a lot of things we're doing that are probably a first with this thing. Like This like, being one of them. But like Elon shot it with a machine gun, so that's already been done. So we don't even need to do that, right? Right? No, we still need okay, to do that. Okay, we still need to do that. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are you a pro? Is that what we're calling you? So look, we've got Christian Pepper here. He is a essentially a professional BMXer. He gets paid to ride these things. Have you ever launched off a Cybertruck before? I've never even seen a Cybertruck in okay. person before. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, what do you think? This is well, like a foot tall. Christian, come. You think I'm going to make it on top of this stand, thing? Come stand on this. Really. Depends how much like, I want to get your take. Let's make sure you feel like it can hold. And then walk up. Walk up. Let's just like. It's a little. That's not glass then. That's like a plastic, isn't it? Is I Oh, I haven't walked on that yet. I literally don't know. Have you guys walked on this? No, here, but walk down. You're good, you're good. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, dude, it's slick. Is it slick? Uh, Whoa! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you're that coordinated, dude, because I would have eaten it and like fallen and rolled down the entire hill. Hey, hold on. Do you feel, you? are you okay with this? Like, I don't want to force Riding you. Riding over it is com within comfort. Yeah, even this is like, that's a pretty good hop, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Off of that, up on this. I mean, this, I feel like, if I could jump on it like that, I don't think I'm going to be putting that much more impact probably, into it. Yeah, you're probably going to be. Plus, my weight will be spread out between, you know, two wheels, so. Yeah. Dude, I feel like we're innovators, you know what I mean? Truly. Like, there's some people yeah, that be. develop rocket engines, and there's some people that jump BMX bikes off of cyber trucks, and we are the latter. This thing, the tonneau cover is supposed to hold just fine. 
we think the glass will hold just fine or whatever that plexi stuff is up on top. This is gonna be so sick. Tesla never gave us the warning that the roof is slick when you ride a mountain oh. bike over it. It feels fine if I'm just going straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But if I were to like try and break, I wouldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Does it feel pretty good? Yeah, I mean, right. I'm not worried about it because I'm just rolling over the top. Yeah, you know? that's right. If I were to that's try right. and like jump off of it. <laughs> but I mean, when am I going to find out if yeah. not now? Coming. That might do it, dude. I think you're gonna be fine. I don't know for sure, but I think you're gonna be fine. <laughs> He was flying, dude. He dude. was ripping. He was Stay going so fast. fast. <laughs> yeah, dude. I can see it pull oh, your wheel sideways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. 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 Nice dude, that was so that was sick. Was... The wind has kind of picked up, and so it's making it a little sketch when Christian hits the back of the truck. Sketchy-er. Sketchy-er. <laughs> it was already kind of sketchy, right? Um, but he's done it, I don't know, eight, nine times now. Like, it looks so sick. But now when he's approaching the truck and when he's hitting it and when he's in the air, you have this crosswind that is like relentless. And it's just, you see, you see my beard? You see blowing those blowing off. locks, dude? <laughs> it's just like blowing them off court. Dude, you look good up there though. Thank you. It looks nice. So if it wasn't rainy and windy, Yeah. how sick would it be to jump up onto here, right across the top and free off of it? Oh, that'd it's be the so sick. The other one that I thought would be so sick is jump up on this side if the car was flipped around, 180 on top, and ride backwards down the back, and then have cab off onto the ground. Now let me know when the uh, you know jumping over the Lamborghini happens. And guys, that was awesome. Christian Pepper. Yep. Here, I'll hold it down. <laughs> Yo. Yo, guys, that was absolutely insane. We used the Cybertruck. This has to be a first, man. We used it as a BMX prop. I'm not even supposed to say BMX. It was some sort of mountain bike prop, but we have some unbelievable footage in horribly bad weather. So stoked to be using the Cybertruck for what it was made for, man. This thing is indestructible. This is only the beginning of amazingly stupid things we're gonna be using this truck for. So fun.